welcome friends today we will discuss work done during adiabatic process i am dr sb college department of physics shivaji arts commerce and science college from the district aurangabad so friends here see this figure a gas expands from volume v1 to v2 adiabatically means no heat can enter the system or leave the system it is totally insulated from the surrounding so expansion from a to b is shown here and work done during this process is given by pdv uh, it is the pressure and dv is this, this small volume increasing small volume dv if we get product of this p and dv this is the work done during this adiabatic process from a to b Now work done is given by W is equal to integration from limits V1 to V2. P dV. This is the work done. Here we have taken limits from V1. Means this point A is at volume V1. This is volume V1 to volume V2. This B point. So we have taken these limits. So is equal to area under this core AB. So area AB BA. This area is the work done during this process. Now, friends, you know for adiabatic process, P V is to gamma is constant K. From this, we can calculate pressure. P is equal to K upon V is to gamma. If we put this is in work done equation, W is equal to K. Here, here, so to put here, W is equal to P means K upon V is to gamma. So dV upon V raised to gamma, but this is the integration sign from V1 to V2 integration of dV upon V raised to gamma. K is outside this integration sign. It's equal to K. Now if you integrate this d up dV upon V raised to gamma, V raised to gamma means if we move this to this upside, it is V raised to minus gamma. So integration of V raised to minus gamma. dv is v raised to minus gamma plus 1 upon minus gamma plus 1 so we have written here k upon 1 upon k upon 1 minus gamma in bracket if we put this upper and lower limit values we get 1 upon v2 raised to minus gamma minus 1 minus 1 upon v1 raised to gamma minus 1 now you know a and b lie on same adiabatic here a and b are on same adiabatic So, equations for this P1 V1 is to gamma is equal to P2 V2 is to gamma is equal to K. So W is equal to one upon one minus gamma in bracket here K K upon V2 is to gamma minus one minus this K upon this V1 is to gamma minus one. So is equal to one upon one minus gamma in bracket. Now put here value of this k. So put first p2 v2 to gamma here p2 v2 to gamma upon this v2 to gamma minus one minus here put p1 v1 to gamma upon this v1 to gamma minus one. If we simplify this, we get w is equal to one upon one minus gamma p2 v2 minus p1 v1. Now students consider one gram molecule of gas. So this P1 V1 is equal to R T1, P2 V2 is equal to R T2. So put here P2 V2, P2 V1 values from this. So we get W is equal to one upon one minus gamma in bracket R T2 minus R T1 is equal to R outside the bracket R upon one upon R upon one minus gamma in bracket P2 minus P1. So W is equal to R upon Gamma minus one. It was we have to use this in bracket P one minus P two. Also we have to use this. So work done during adiabatic process W depends only on initial and final temperatures. Reference are used for preparation of this problem presentation. Thank you.